Dr. Steinman said he'd release me today. Ryan didn't come to see me since the New Year's attack, not once. But Dr. Steinman was very attentive. He told me that once the scar tissue was gone, he was going to fix me right up, make me prettier than any girl I've ever seen. He's sweet, all right. He was so interested in my case. Things had changed since I left Dr. Steinman's office. It's like I don't even recognize Rapture no more. I hear they've been rounding up people in Paula Square. I asked Ryan, how could he do such things to innocents? He said, innocents? If they haven't chosen to defend Rapture, they've chosen to side with Atlas and his bandits. So there are no innocents. There are heroes, and there are criminals. Up again, second time this week. Ever since my face was... Well, Steinman worked on me, but it was never the same since the blast. Me being alone so much gives a girl time to think. Who could hate me so much they'd ruin me like this? What did I do to them? You know, I keep thinking of all them bandits and terrorists. Ryan's got locked up in Paula Square, and I get so mad. Sometimes I can hardly breathe. If I could only confront them, tell them what they did to me, how they're ruining everything for me, for rapture. Maybe I... Well, maybe I feel better. I was so angry when I came down here, but my... My God, I had no idea. There's armed men all over the place. I saw a woman climb over the fence trying to escape. One of Ryan's guards pointed at her and she lit on fire. Just like that. What's happening here? I bribed one of the gorillas at the gate to let me in. It's awful in here. To my right, I can see a dead woman lying in the street. Everybody just walking by her like she isn't there. But I noticed something spray painted everywhere. Atlas lives. I, mean, I don't know what it means, but... Something tells me it's important to these people. The people here have grown to trust me. Ryan's mistress, and still they take me in. They finally brought me to Atlas. Without him, the people of Palo Square would give up. I asked him if he was going to lead the people in some kind of uprising against Ryan. He sighed and said... I am not a liberator. Liberators do not exist. These people will liberate themselves. I thought Andrew Ryan was a great man. I was a fool. We went on a raid outside the wire today. We snagged 31 rounds of buckshot, four fried grenades, a shotgun, and 34 Adam. We lost McGee, Epstein, and Vallette. We got one of those goddamn big daddies in the bargain, though. There was something awful they had to do to that little girl to get the atom, but... But we didn't start this thing. Ryan did. I can't wait to tell Atlas. He'll be so pleased. 